Throughout your adventure in Far Cry 6, you will have the chance to team up with some animal companions. In this video, we're going to cover how to find all the different animal companions throughout Yara, and we're also going to tell you how you rank up each one as best and efficiently as possible. Five companions are available to all players and can be found and unlocked throughout Yara, with an additional two companions that come as part of the Season Pass DLCs. A lot of these amigos also have different skins that you can change by just going to the little icon down here. The first amigo that you get as part of Far Cry 6 is Guapo. You get him as part of the one of a kind mission at the very start of the game and he is a combat amigo. This means that if you're more of a stealth approach you might want to let him sit it out. What makes Guapo so unique is that he will actually regenerate himself in battle and also he can revive himself once he's downed. Guapo can be upgraded with three different abilities and these are body regeneration, cornered beast and reptile metabolism. You should get the body regulation ability pretty fast because it won't take long for him to heal himself five times. For the cornered beast ability it will just take a little bit longer but the more you use him the more he'll regenerate the health. If you get to reptile metabolism and you still need to get Guapo a few more kills what I like to do then is just aim him at somebody and then just sink a few shots into them so some of their health is gone so he takes them down that little bit faster. But if you're doing cornered beast I would suggest just let him take a bit of damage as well. Guapo is really good if you are in firefights and you are going in loud and guns blazing. If you are looking for an amigo that is more for stealth approach and he will also give you a little helping hand with health throughout the game, Chirizo is your dog. He becomes available by doing one of the first missions on the main island. Uh, it's on the west side of the island and it's called Meet the Monteros. Once that's completed, you will see a purple Yaren story in the main camp. Just go over there and pet Chorizo and then you will be off on your way to unlock him. It's two short little missions and once you have him, you can then equip him as an amigo. Chorizo is a cute little sausage dog that can distract enemies for you to allow you sneak past them or to take them out quietly. That said, unlocking him to his full potential is quite useful as you can regenerate your own health. Chorizo's three abilities are Bloodhound, which allows him to tag resources with his sense of smell. This is unlocked once you've distracted 10 enemies. This is pretty easy to do, just point at an enemy and then send Chorizo over and he will get to work. The next ability is called Yes You Can and means that when you pet Chorizo you will actually get full health. And to do this you just have to get Chorizo to tag 36 loot containers. When you tag them it just puts a little um, toolbox icon on the map so you can see them easily. If you're just using him as your standard amigo while you infiltrate bases you will get this up but if you just want to focus on grinding it out to get this faster the best way I found to do was go to a base and clear it out but don't loot any of the loot containers. Then just run around to the locations that they are. In this particular base on my footage there was three so I used to go to all three of them. You get a little notification to tell you that you found one and then once they're all found I just go onto the map and then fast travel to the same location and then go to the three locations again. I did this and ranked them up really fast at just doing this so definitely that would be my suggestion. For keen senses, Chorizo will occasionally find resources by digging up the ground. This is unlocked once you've petted Chorizo and healed him 50 times. Again, this can be done through to just the course of playing the game. And if you're trying to do this as fast as possible, what I did was take out the flamethrower, just fire it once or twice at some grass and then stand in there and let it burn me. You just want to get a little bit of your white health down. Then you can put out the flames and pet Chorizo. This is actually an incredibly useful skill to have and he is actually one of the more powerful amigos because you can just have a free little health source for whenever you need it. The next amigo has a lot less chill than Chorizo and that is the aggressive cock Chicharron. Chicharron is unlocked after completing the mission Meet the Legends over in Elesta. Once you've done that mission just head to this location here and find the quest Man's Best Enemy. After doing a series of quests with Chicharron you will then unlock him as an amigo. Chicharron is another combat amigo but sadly unlike Quapo he won't actually revive himself. That said he can be quite useful at distracting enemies and taking a few down. He has three abilities to unlock. The first is called Ride Rage which means when his health is below 70% Chicharron's attacks become faster and deal more damage. You'll get this after killing 12 enemies so not too hard. The next ability is called Angrier Bird and this means Chicharron's 
bird attacks can knock enemies to the floor. This is unlocked after he has killed 24 enemies while in Ride Rage. To do this, what I did was wait till his health was around the 70% mark and then I would send him to tag different enemies. What I'd like to do is when he jumps up in the air to attack him, I just shoot him a couple of times to take their health down so he kills them pretty fast. The third ability is called Chicken Feet and that means that during Ride Rage, Cheek Sharon is more likely to dodge enemy attacks. This is unlocked once 50 enemies have been knocked down by the angrier bird attack. I did find that if I catch enemies off guard so they're not facing me at the time and Chicharone comes up from behind him, he almost always knocked them down. So that's pretty much how I ranked that one up pretty fast. I found an area where enemies just keep respawning and kept running up and down and getting Chicharone to catch them from the back. The next amigo is a bit of a blast from the past if you played Far Cry 5 and that is Boomer, or as he's called in this game, Boom Boom. Boom Boom is unlocked after doing the mission Meet Maximus Montanas, which is the first mission in the central area called Valle de Oro. Once that mission is complete, you will find a letter in the main camp just near the foreman's office. There should be a purple icon as well leading you to that letter, so it should stand out. This will send you off to a weapon container up in Ferroza, which is just north of the camp of Maximus. And there you will find Boomer, aka Boom Boom, in one of the shipping containers. What I really like about this Amigo is that he will actually ride shotgun with you when you're driving in a car, which the other Amigos don't seem to do. So that is a nice little touch. Boom Boom's main abilities kind of revolve around him being able to tag things on the map for you. So he has three abilities like the other ones. The first one is Pointer. This is where Boom Boom will mark enemy troops and animals. This is unlocked once Boom Boom has collected resources from 10 bodies. This took a little while for me at the start, but then what I would start to do is just fire a shot from each one of my guns. And then when I'm in a fight, I sometimes point him towards the area where there's some dead bodies and he would just loot a few bodies for me. The next ability is called Expert Tracker. This is where Boom Boom is able to tag targets from further away. This is unlocked once Boom Boom has tagged 24 animals. For this, just go off road every now and again and you will get that pretty easily. The last ability is called Thick Coat and this is where Boom Boom can withstand more damage from enemies. This is unlocked when Boom Boom has tagged 50 enemies. To speed these kind of things up, what I used to like to do is look down on a base or something like that and send Boom Boom in and just kind of highlight areas where I want him to go so that he would tag all the enemies in that area. Alusu is by far the hardest amigo to pick up in Far Cry 5 as that's going to involve you completing a series of treasure hunts to get him to be unlocked. That said, he is one of the most powerful amigos in the game, especially if you're a stealth player. I don't really want to spoil these and how you do these treasure hunts for you in case you'd like to do them for yourself. So I will pin a guide for all of this in the pinned comments as well as the description if you'd like to follow that. But to start this mission, you can just go to Alua Cave here at this location on Isla Centurio Island which is the first island that you start on. Inside the cave, you will find a note on the floor, which just needs to be read, and that will put three treasure hunt icons on the map, one in each of the three main areas. Go forward into the world, complete those treasure hunt missions, and when you come back, you will have a final mission here in Alua Cave, where you will be able to unlock Aluso. What makes Aluso so powerful, I think, is that bodies just disintegrate as soon as he takes them down and kills him. So there is no bodies for other soldiers to find. Aluso has three abilities like the other amigos. The first is Mimo Abusi's Luck, which means Aluso has a higher chance to succeed on a stealthy takedown during battle. To unlock this, Aluso has to kill 12 enemies in a restricted area, which is pretty easy. The next ability is Rage of Ida, which means successful takedowns using Aluso will cause nearby enemies to flee. To unlock this, Aluso just has to kill 24 enemies using a takedown. The final ability is Mist of a Coup, which means Aluso is surrounded by smoke when below 50% health and is immune to damage, hard to spot and regenerates health faster. This unlocks once Aluso has inflicted fear on 50 enemies. This again is pretty easy, just send him into battle and watch as he makes someone disappear and the enemies will get scared. Aluso is definitely one of my preferred amigos to use, I often use them when I'm doing my stealth approaches. The next amigo is only available for those who have purchased the Blood Dragon DLC set day one for Far Cry 6. This was included in both the Gold Edition and the Ultimate Edition of the game. 
You get it once you leave the first island and go into the main island, it will just unlock. The K900 is a combat amigo who has hardened exterior to make him more resilient to bullet damage and immune to both poison and fire. In addition, he can be upgraded with the following abilities. The first ability is called Enhance, and that is where the K900 can tag turrets, security cameras, tripwires, and alarms. To unlock this, the K900 just has to take 100 damage from enemies. The next ability is also called Enhance 2. To unlock this, the K900 just has to tag 24 security systems. By far the easiest way to do this is by infiltrating F and D bases. If you are grinding this out and you just want to do it as fast as possible, what I suggest is finding one that has 3 alarm systems and then finding a high area where you can go up and scout. Then you can just send the K900 around the base and he will be able to scout out all the alarm systems. Then all you have to do is just don't engage the base and either go to another base or just get a bit of distance between you and that base so all of that data resets and you can do the same thing again. The final ability the Cyberdog has is Termination Protocol. This means that the K900 explodes on death dealing a lot of damage to enemies in the nearby area. To unlock this, you have to have the K900 destroy 50 tagged enemies. So this is pretty easy, just tag the enemies with your phone and then let the K9 kill them. I found that targeting areas where there'd be lots of uh, roosters. Just basically tag the roosters with your phone and then let the K9 kill them. It's worth putting a bullet or two into the roosters as well as they can be quite vicious. And the last amigo that you can get, you need to have purchased the Vice Pack DLC, which also comes with the Ultimate Edition of Far Cry 6. Champagne is another stealth amigo who sets herself apart from the other amigos on the list with, by collecting additional pesos from enemies after combat. She can be upgraded with the following abilities. The first is Greed is Good. This ability is where Champagne succeeds more often at enemy takedowns and more pesos that you have. To unlock this, Champagne just has to kill 12 enemies. The next ability is called Predator Instinct and this is where Champagne will automatically loop pesos when she gets a stealth takedown. To unlock this, you just have to have Champagne kill 24 enemies using a takedown. The final ability is called Sonic Snarl. This means that when Champagne takes damage, that there is a chance she will unleash a mighty roar to knock enemies down nearby and escape to safety. To unlock this, you have to have Champagne loot 1000 pesos from dead enemies. And that is all of the Amigos that are currently available for Far Cry 6. I think there is a nice selection of the ones that you can use and pick from. So let me know in the comments, what is your favorite Amigo and which one do you often take with you into battle? For me personally, Aluso is the main cat that I bring in with me while I'm doing some missions, but I do like to mix it up as it is quite funny. Chicharron's missions were just hilarious, I thought, to play true, and it is quite funny having him run around just massacring people. But again, let me know in the comments what is your favourite amigo. Also let me know if you'd like to see some more Far Cry 6 content or if there's any other games out there that you'd like to see some content on. Massive thanks to everyone who supports this channel, especially to the members. You guys are awesome. All right, people, I'll catch you in the next video.